Appreciate it. Uh, first of all, it's uh, certainly good to be back. Um, I thought I was in, enjoying the summer, uh, but now it feels real. It feels like we are uh, certainly getting closer and closer to the season. Um, you know, one thing I can say about our football team is that they have worked uh, tremendously hard uh, in the off season. I can go back to January 16th and the, the, the amount of work they put in uh, to get to this point, uh, you know, from a head coach perspective, has been uh, nothing short of, uh, of phenomenal. Um, the one thing I can say uh, about our team, obviously we understand it's, it's a new year. Uh, this is a new team. I talked to our team last year, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, uh, about um, it's a new movie, right? Uh, it's a new script. Uh, we, don't we don't know how this thing is going to unfold. Uh, there's going to be new characters. Uh, there's going to be new adversity. Uh, but all we can do is prepare. Uh, you know, how hard can we prepare? Uh, how hard can we work uh, to be prepared for the moment? And, and we don't understand who's going to step up, uh, when your number's going to be called. Uh, but our guys have done a tremendous job of, of being ready each and every single day. And, and we talked about in the offseason about keeping things small. Uh, and, and what keeping things small ha has allowed us to do uh, is stay in the moment uh, and not get complacent. Uh, and, and, and one thing, uh, when you win a championship, uh, you know, everybody talks about complacency. Uh, but keeping it small has allowed us to make sure we stay on the daily grind uh, to do the things necessary to put ourselves in position. Uh, and, and I think that we've done that. Fun group to be around. Um, we have fun. We work extremely hard. Uh, we got some good leadership um, from the group. Uh, I think we've added some nice pieces uh, of guys, and we have a nice, a nice blend of uh, veteran players. Uh, we have a nice uh, blend of young veterans, uh, guys that have a lot of experience uh, that creates competition uh, in our team. You know, and I think for us, that allows us to keep the focus on uh, doing the things necessary uh, to improve our football team on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, one thing we talk about uh, all the time is how can we continue to improve? Uh, because that's what it's about. Uh, we spend very little, uh, a very little bit amount of time talking about uh, external uh, factors. Uh, everything we talk about is in internal. Uh, how can we get better? What are the things that we can do uh, to get better uh, as a football team? Uh, what are the things that we can do to get better as a program? Uh, and I think our, our kids, I think our coaches have maximized that opportunity. Uh, this week, uh, we had uh, max tests. Uh, and the one thing that, you, that I've seen is we are a bigger, faster, uh, stronger football team. And I think uh, that goes to our strength staff. I think that goes to the players and the work that they, 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 they put in uh, throughout the offseason. Uh, obviously, we, we report to camp July 31st. Uh, we start practice August 1st. Uh, and at that time, we will have a chance to identify what's our strengths and weaknesses of the 2022 football team. Uh, and, and in that process, what we'll do is we'll figure out what are the ways that we need to figure out how we're going to win and the things that we need to do uh, to win. And we'll try to play to our strength to the best of our ability uh, and, and, and minimize our weaknesses. Uh, and that's what, that's what you try to do every year. Uh, but one thing that is a strength for us is our depth. Uh, you know, we have built this team and built this roster uh, at every position where we have depth, we have competition, uh, and that, that has uh, enhanced our football program and, and enhanced our team. And I couldn't be more excited about that. Uh, we, we have competitive practices. We score every practice. Uh, if, if you come to practice and watch us, you'll see a team uh, on offense, defense, and special teams that get after it. Uh, and they get after for, you know, two hours and then we get in the locker room and we hug it up and we, we you know, and we, we, we look for the next day to, to have a chance to, to, to sharpen each other for another, another day of practice. So couldn't be more excited about that. You know, one thing we have to understand is what, what you've done last year doesn't matter. And I think our players embrace that. Uh, and I think um, the journey and the climb uh, of this year is something that excites me. It's something that excites our coaching staff. It's something that excites our players, and that's what we're working toward. Uh, we feel like we got a, uh, a lot of work to do. Uh, couldn't be more excited about uh, the development uh, and the continued development uh, of our team, and, and we're certainly looking forward to the season. Take questions. And with that, I'll, 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 take, I'll take questions. 
Thomas, you were in so many close games last year and won, won a lot of them. How do you approach that to have the same type of success, you know, and not let it go the other way? No, I think, you know, uh, last offseason, um, when I talked to the football team, we talked about, you know, going from an 0-6 uh, season to turning the program around, we expected to be in a lot of close football games. Uh, and so we prepared for that. Now for us to make uh, the type of jump that we want to make, um, we have to, we, we're going to be in games where you have a chance to separate. Uh, and so in those moments, we, we, we can't have a penalty. We can't have a turnover. So we are trying to prepare for those moments uh, in practice where, you know, it, it may be you're up by three points and you have the ball. Uh, and now you, you have to go, you know, go, go get a touchdown. So we're going to try to prepare for situations where we can extend. Uh, and that's, that's what we're going to talk to our team about and try to prepare to extend. Uh, that's what we want to try to prepare for this year. Do you think your depth gives you more margin for error than you had? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I think our depth gives us a chance to uh, continue to be competitive, um, but I, I wouldn't say uh, it gives us, you know, more margin for error. What excites you about having kind of the blend of the new pieces like you're talking about, but also the fact that what do you hope that kind of teach or what habits do they kind of put in place? Well, I think what it does is allow um, guys to understand, you know, you can't take your job for granted. Um, I think a guy that, that was a starter last year, you know, can be a second or third string if you don't go out there with the same intensity or the same level of focus at each and every single day um, because there's a guy behind you that wants your job. And I think um, that level of, 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 of competition uh, allows you not to be complacent. And I think that that's what we're looking for. If we can have that level of competition each and every day, uh, then that gives us a chance to be competitive in football games. What do you think the strengths of your team will be? That's, that's a good question. I think uh, for us, I think we got a couple areas of strengths. I think uh, up front on the offensive line, I think that's going to be a tremendous strength. Uh, I think our, our leadership at the quarterback position uh, is going to be a strength. I think our, uh, our backfield is going to be a strength. Uh, and then I, I think our growth on defense is going to be a strength for us. I think uh, last year we were able to play. Um, uh, we won a championship um, with a flawed team, in my opinion. Uh, I think we, we will have a better, a better overall football team um, I think we'll be better on defense, and I think we'll be we'll have a better chance to play complementary football. Coach, what's your thoughts on Vandy, Kentucky, you know, having those types of teams, especially Vandy coming to town? No, I think I think for us, you know, a competitive non-conference schedule gives us a good uh, litmus test of where we're at. Uh, you know, early in the season, um, going into the MAC, uh, and, and gives us a good gauge of where we're at. Um, you know. You, you never quite understand where you are until you, you're faced with some adversity. And I think the non-conference gives you some adversity. We're going to be in, in tough football games early in, early in the year. And how are we going, how are we going to respond? Uh, I think last year, you know, we had a tough, we had a tough game at Michigan. And, and we talk about that game, and we use that game as a learning experience. And the way these guys responded told you a lot about them, you know. How many, how many times do you see a team lose a game like we lost at Michigan and then, and, then, and then go in the tank for the rest of the season? Well, these guys lost the game, they, they, they packed their bags, and they came back and responded the rest of the season. That, and that's what you want to see, the response, uh, because um, adversity is part of it. And adversity uh, and learning from adversity, uh, if you can have those type of moments, uh, I think that gives you a better chance to have success. You want me to introduce him? Oh, sure. Okay. Kyle Pugh, a linebacker for us, 
Uh, he's been around for a little bit, but we are excited uh, to have him and excited about his leadership and expect big things from him uh, this season. Next, Rocky Lombardi, our quarterback, uh, came to us last year, uh, had an outstanding season, uh, was a big part of our success. He has made a big jump uh, in the offseason with his understanding of, of our offense, uh, and, and we're certainly going to open up the, the toolbox and let, him, and let him go to work this season. Next, Nick Rateen, former walk-on, uh, recently was uh, voted to the All Works team. Uh, certainly a young man that uh, we are excited about. Uh, his development, his leadership uh, kind of does it all for us. Uh, in our program, uh, has been uh, a guy that's uh, been uh, nothing. I can't say enough good things about what Nick Redeen has done and, and meant for our program. Next young man, Marcus Cox, offensive lineman. I think he started every game since I've been here. Uh, he's been uh, a staple at the left tackle position, uh, a guy that has a bright future, uh, and a guy that protects the quarterback's blind side. Uh, I can't tell you how many games he started in a row, um, but certainly excited to have him. Next young man, uh, guy that catches everything, Cole Tucker. I think, I think he's going to run for mayor of the Cal at some point. Uh, but, but, <laughs> but certainly a guy that, uh, you know, I, he's a, he's a, he's a, a quarterback's, uh, you know, weapon. Um, you know, safety valve and, and, and can run everything for us. Um, and, and a guy that we're going to try to get the ball to as many ways as possible this season. Last but not least, young man that, that came in our program as a 225-pound DN, grown into a 275-pound D tackle. A uh, guy that, you know, feel like can be one of the best D linemen in the conference, has a bright future, uh, Devontae O'Malley. That's the guys we brought brought to our. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go to the center. Y'all got it.